What's up, guys? Hope you're doing awesome. Hey, we just got finished setting up the, the new home office video studio and wanted to shoot a quick video, kind of peek behind the curtain, behind the scenes in terms of how we've got it set up. Um, you know, as you guys know, I use this room for our podcasts and our webinars and the video content we produce, long form, short form. And there's something great about having uh, an easy setup where you can quickly just press a button, hit record, and you're off to the races with very little friction. And so I'll kind of walk you through why we set it up this way, like why you might want to do something similar and the, the different tools and resources that we have in place. So um, kind of starting from over here, you can see I've got my camera set up and there's a couple of cameras there. Uh, one is more for like wide shot interviews and I've got the, the camera right in front that I use for my webcam style videos. Um, you'll notice I've also got lights above me um, because you have to have good lighting. Right? You can have great camera and you can have all kinds of things, but if you don't have the lights that light you correctly, it's not going to look right and it's not going to stand out. Uh, you'll notice behind me, uh, I've got this vibe board and I've become a big fan of the vibe board for a variety of reasons. But uh, first of all, I think it, it kind of it, it gives more dynamic to the shot. So it's not like the same shelf behind me all day, every day. Um, and I, I shift between brands. As a lot of you guys know, I run Seven Figure Agency, which is our coaching business for plum, uh, digital marketing agencies. I also run uh, Plumbing and HVAC SEO, which is our agency that serves plumbing companies. And so having a vibe board lets me easily change the graphics behind me so I can constantly kind of dynamically be changing the backdrop, the brand of the room. Um, if I'm talking about a different topic, I can quickly shift. I can display my slides back here if I'm doing a presentation. Um, I can also write on the board itself, which is pretty cool. Every now and then, uh, you, you want to visually explain a concept. And it's one thing to have someone hitting slides and kind of slamming through 100 slides at once. It's another thing when you can draw out a model, you can draw out a concept. And so the beautiful thing behind the vibe board is I'm able to come in here, uh, choose my pen color, and, and explain a model. Like you can always hear me talking about, like, we're going to, you know, we're going to land clients, we're going to deliver results, and we're going to scale, right? We're going to retain long term. And so this gives you the ability to be on camera, hit slides, draw on the board, and it just creates a more vibrant, uh, more visual experience for the viewer, for the, particip for the person participating. And um, I like the ability to switch between my brands and that backdrop so it's not static. In the past, I had my setup where I had like uh, poster boards behind me, basically. And it would look good for that one shot, but it was the same thing on every single video and there's no way to, to change it dynamically. Now, you'll notice kind of further behind there, um, we've got these, these signs. I use our, our genius model, which is land clients deliver results, retain long-term and scale. So you'll kind of see when I'm standing there behind me, you're, you're seeing these signs. Um, and you'll also notice, maybe we can cut to a shot at this point in the video where um, I, I change these signs out. And so when I'm doing a, a plumbing and HVAC SEO, it turns green and it's the genius model for drive leads, maximize conversion, optimize ROI. Some of you have been like, how do you do that? It's all like big TV screens behind you. The reality is this is a, it's a panel. Like it's a sound panel that's got printed out signs like you would get from a local sign shop with our, our genius model and the, the key three pillars of our strategy. And so that just makes the shot a, a little bit more dynamic from a, from a distance. Uh, the other thing that's new in this studio that a couple of you guys have pointed to is these, uh, these trellis that they, they, they kind of look industrial, they look cool in the background, but they're also great for putting up our lights. Um, so I've got backlights that I'm able to use to light the background and also create depth for me because that backlight hits the back of my head and it just creates layers, which makes the video more dynamic, more interesting, more engaging. Um, and we've got these little blue lights that are attached to the ground. And these blue lights hit the, the trellis and it, and it creates a studio feel, a very cool studio feel to it. Um, really, really, I enjoy it. I like the look of it. 
Um, you also notice a darker room in the previous office. I have tan walls, and so these dark walls just make it look a little bit more congruent with the brand. Now, we've talked about the, the, the cameras. We've talked about the vibe board. We've talked about the lighting a little bit. Super important is the audio, right? If you don't have good audio, you're going to have the best look in the world. Um, your video is not going to be usable. It's not going to be useful. And so I use two different types of mics in this room. Uh, the one that you'll see up here, this is a Shure mic um, that super high quality, gives it a very nice sound that's on an adjustable stand. So I can bring this down. And if I'm standing like this, it captures the audio. If I'm sitting, I can bring it down. And it also captures the audio. So I can have good sound without being tethered to a, to a mic. Now, in some cases, if I'm going to be going back to the vibe board and doing a lot of different stuff like that, I will, um, I'll use a wired lavalier mic like this that plugs right into my MacBook and then gives me the ability to you know, come back here and be riding on the board and have my sound so when it's nice and clear um, from wherever they are. And I've also got these wireless um, Holland sounds uh, mics that work, work really well for when I'm in a movement where I've got two people occasionally in the room and we're doing an interview, we've got two mics so we can have that audio consistency moving across the two. Um, camera wise, you know, the, the camera technology is constantly changing. There's a big difference between a, like a Logitech webcam that plugs in via USB and a DSLR quality camera. You're able to shoot in 4K. And what's great is if you've got the right adapter, your DSLR camera can plug right in to your computer and be fed in like a webcam. And so the adapter that we use is this right here. It's called CamLink. And what this CamLink does is it converts your HDMI signal from your DSLR to USB so that it can be fed right in. So if you're recording a screen flow or something along those lines, or you're doing a Zoom session, or you're going live on Ecamm, um, it captures that and you're actually broadcasting a DSLR quality video straight through your webcam. Now, um, I, I do a variety of formats in this room. Sometimes I'm standing back here with my videographer on the camera, who's Norton Rodriguez. He's here, he's shooting this right now and helped set all of this up. He's back there, we've got the, the, the TV in a certain spot. Um, other times, I'm, I'm actually just doing web, you know, web meetings and, and web things like that. And so what's great is I've got this little director chair that comes to the right height and I can just turn on my webcam. I've still got the background that's very dynamic, talking through my, either my sure mic or my lavalier. And I can just easily move from doing that kind of video to actually standing up and doing a webinar. This comes up, it's an adjustable chair. And so, I mean, in the nutshell, that's the setup. The key thing that I love about this is it gives me the ability to quickly create content. I'm not taking out the lights, unpacking them, plugging them in. I have this set up. It, none of it shows up on shot, um, like if I'm in a regular meeting, but I can quickly hit record and create content. You want to be able to crank out content on a very consistent basis. And if it can look good and going to be super high quality, that's even better. So if you have any questions about how this is set up or kind of how any of this stuff works, let me know. I've also got a gear guide that I can share that's got links to all of the different products that we use. I'm not worried about trying to make affiliate money, but just sometimes it's nice to know, you know, what's that camera? What's that adapter? You know, how is it that I plug in the, the power to the camera so that it automatically runs? Um, so just type gear guide in the comments and I'll make sure to send a link to that for you. The only thing that's important is you, if, if you're using a a vibe board or something like a vibe board, oftentimes if you don't have the right light, it can wash you out. Or even if you've got the right light, it can create a massive reflection in the camera and it doesn't look good, it doesn't look right. And so it's important to recognize when you set up your board, the key is to put it at a tilt so it doesn't capture the, the reflection. If you put it straight up and down, and that's probably how you'd expect to see it, if you put it straight up and down, it creates a reflection on the camera and it's not usable. So just a little tip as we kind of wrap up, 
get your vibe board or your camera uh, or your, your TV screen and tilt it forward. That way you can still see it really clearly, but it doesn't create a reflection. So that's it for today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm super excited about it. I love having the, you know, the, the, the latest and greatest setup in my room. I'm enjoying creating content in here. Uh, let me know if you've got questions. Let me know if you have follow-up thoughts, and uh, we'll take it from there. See you later, everybody.